Jenny Marie here from Raja Wellness, and I wanted to take a few minutes today to address a recent change in the Medicare policy regarding the coverage of acupuncture for chronic low back pain. Back in January, a decision memorandum was released by Medicare that said, yes, they will cover acupuncture for chronic low back pain. They will cover 12 initial visits. If progress is shown and documented in those 12 visits, they will cover additional visits. They even take some steps to ensure that public safety. They're spe specifically saying that acupuncture should be provided by either licensed acupuncturists or medical doctors who have special training in medical acupuncture and what comes out to be several hundred hours of additional training. So this is great for making sure that quality providers who are properly licensed are able to provide this service under Medicare. The problem is that licensed acupuncturists are not included as providers under the current legislation. So this means we actually need an act of Congress signed by the president to make this change. And there have been a number of initiatives over the last few years to try to do this. Uh, most recently, Representative Judy Chu out of Washington had a bill, H.R. 1183. Um, it did not make it but this is what we need, is we will need your congressional representatives, your senators, to get on board, support a bipartisan bill that will actually expand Medicare coverage so that licensed acupuncturists are providers and can actually provide the service that you want. So until then, unfortunately, the only way that acupuncture can be covered under Medicare is if it's done through a doctor's office or a nurse practitioner's office who's providing supervision and billing for the licensed acupuncturist. Um, a number of acupuncturists aren't going to be able to find a medical office willing to do this billing. The policy is so new that unlike most other Medicare procedures that have reams of documentation on what steps need to be taken and what the billing needs to look like and what the referrals need to look like, we don't have that yet for this coverage and that still needs to be developed. And nobody wants to find out that they've committed Medicare fraud because whether you meant to do it or not, it still carries a pretty hefty uh, penalty that can include loss of licensure and a felony conviction. So providers are going to want to be careful about how they implement this, when they implement this. It's going to take some time. So when you call, don't be disappointed if we can't take the Medicare um, patients at this time. There may be a provision to get reimbursement, but again, because we're not covered providers, even though the procedure itself is covered, it doesn't currently qualify until we get that changed. So this will take a grassroots initiative, a lot of people reaching out, letting their senators and congressmen know, you want to see a bill similar to Judy Chu's HR 1183. Uh, we've got some links down in the comments below uh, this bill has solid language. It doesn't have a lot of other pork in it. So it's a good example of what the legislation should look like. And it's got the appropriate level for acupuncturists to be included in Medicare that's on par with what our licensure and training is. So please take the time, make some calls, let your friends know. Uh, we would love to be able to make the service available, but right now it's quite honestly looks like a little bit of a uh, bait and switch. Yes, we cover it, but the broadest number of providers who actually provide the service are not covered. So yes, Medicare is covering acupuncture. No, it's not going to be easy to find a provider who can actually do that until we get some changes. So hopefully this helps. We'll probably be doing another segment on what can I do if my acupuncturist is out of network and are there options for me to get reimbursement um, or use my flex spending account or health savings account to cover acupuncture. And yes, short answer is in most cases you can use those accounts. We'll go into that in more detail. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We've got a lot of this information posted on our website at www.rajawellness.com. And we always look forward to hearing what questions you have for our Ask the Acupuncturist series.